Indeed, in the recent past, in December of 1991, it was established that the one-party system was a design error in our nationhood, and the advancement of the Republic had outlived its usefulness, and we made renovations and changed the system. In 2007, we ran into another defect in our nation-building project, and we discovered that the politics of exclusion in which the winner takes all was not good for our country, and we were bold enough to change our constitution and expand the executive in order to accommodate the excluded. And indeed, when the former Prime Minister, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, and I shook hands on March 8th of 2018, it was because we saw a crack on the wall of our nation. We had run two elections that costed the country in excess of one trillion shillings. These losses made us see that we were staring at a nation divided right in the middle. But because we had disagreed respectfully, we knew that this was a mark of progress. And though it was difficult, the necessity, the reason, and recognition that we as Kenyans need each other, nation before self, as our forefathers had taught us, to come together reinforced our resolve. Therefore, again, I will continue to say that we need to come together and mend the crack on the wall of our nation. And this, I believe, is what necessitated the First Amendment to our Constitution. And although it encountered some legal obstacles, I say again today that BBI is just a dream deferred. One day, someday, it will happen. Because, because just as the country cannot survive ethnic majoritarianism and exclusion, just in the same breath, it cannot survive unfair and skewed representation. This is a design defect, and we must fix it. Fellow Kenyans, the Garden of the People, therefore, is not just a place of remembrance. It was gifted to us as a place where generations shall tell stories of where we have come from, where we are, and indeed where we are going. It is an arena of truth narrated before God, verified by history, and reinforced by the acts of our founding fathers and each and every one of us as we move through life. And it is a convergence point between our past, our present. It must also, therefore, be our guide for the future. 